All right. So let's focus on some of the different blends we can make in the space claim using our pull tool. And we'll start with a pretty straightforward blend by just clicking both surfaces. And when immediately we can see that the blend is chosen. And we can drag it or click full pull to blend between those two faces. And it starts pretty much straightforward. We get a straight blend between those two faces. But let's select them both and let's move some of our control points, like our red one at the bottom. And now we can see that as we do a full pull, all those control points connect and we have a new twisted blend between our two rectangular faces. We can also see that when we blend between three surfaces, it keeps straight on both edges, but then makes it kind of tangent in the middle as it blends between them. So you can use this to control your blends a little bit further. Or see that I created a slanted rectangular face in the middle of these two. And we can see that it directly links the corners here. And as I do a full pull, it just touches the corners and blends between them. But let's put a little bit more control. And I said it made it tangent in the middle. So you can see if I put two planes in the middle, like we see here, you can see I can delete that one. I'll pull a new one out. That now when I choose the planes in the order of the planes I want it to blend between, it'll now follow that trajectory because it will stay tangent to the ones in the middle. So let's go on to our next blend. And we can see that when I blend between two surfaces, like we saw earlier, it goes straight. But if I blend between a face and a surface, the face will stay tangent and the surface will have straight edges. So I'll give you a little bit more control in knowing what you're blending between, whether it's a face or a surface. And let's emphasize that here by selecting two faces and by doing the blend between them, it's tangent on both sides. But maybe you want to blend on a face, but don't really want to have it tangent in both locations. So you can override that by selecting the edges too. And say so you want to blend it straight from edge to edge. So now we've overridden that tangent control. But maybe you want to control your tangency a little bit further and have more control. So we'll show another blend where I can use a spline to define how much I want it to blend. So I'll set up our spline and draw that on the screen and connect our two corners that I want to control the blend between. I could control other corners, but just for this video, we'll only show one. So I'll select them both and select that spline as an alternate blend plane by clicking the Alt button. So now we see that it's blended along that trajectory that I've chosen and left everything else straight because as we saw before that's how it blends between surfaces. But let's say we already have a block and we want to put some more contour there. So here we can do an edit as blend and we'll pick two faces to blend because you can't blend just one planar face. So now that we've chosen these we can drop in some more blend planes. We'll put one in the bottom, one near the top and go about moving them. And you can see as I move them, you can see it update in real time and control the distance at which you're blending them. So you can see that only the faces that I'm blending have gotten changed. The left and the back face are the same. And you can see that a little bit better as I rotate our top plane. And only the sides I've chosen have updated. There's still a 90 degree edge in the back left corner. Let's move on to a cylinder. And I showed how we can do an edit as blend and move the blend planes around. But this time we'll drop in some blend planes like before and I'll go into a section mode where I'll drag on the section geometry and change it. Whether I want to drag it in or expand it and by what diameter. I could input a value if I wanted to. And still go back and move another blend plane well, I want to make, move it forward or backwards, right or left. Or go ahead and re-angle it. 
So I hope you've seen some of the different ways I can go about and blend something. And I encourage you to go ahead and try it out and see what you think. Thank you for watching the video. Talk to you later. Bye.